What's good everybody, the voice of the WGC back in the building. And just when we thought we were done with the AW Fight Forever news, we're back once again with the full reveal for Season 4. So, Season 4 is here. This season includes Samoa Joe, Adam Copeland, and Jay White. Also included are two all-new arenas, 30 new moves, over 50 new custom attires, 10 music tracks, a stadium stampede expansion, and an all-new tournament mode. Get the season pass season get the season four season pass today on Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, and PC for $19.99. Basically a dub, $20. Let's see what they're looking like. We got Cope. We got Jay White. We just saw Joe. Two all new arenas. So this is like some spooky outdoor monster house looking arena. <laughs> Which is pretty cool, I guess. And then here we are again. With the here we are again with the skins. I don't know. Oh, boy, boy, boy. So you can be a zombie. Ten new music tracks. A stadium stampede expansion. Plus a new tournament mode. So I guess, you know, you can have your own version of King of the Ring. King or Queen of the Ring. Without the crown, that is. <laughs> So that's the end of it. That's the um, the the win it all cutscene. This what you get, confetti. Okay. Okay. And there's also a free DLC. Five new tracks, twenty new skins. And I guess this is what they were talking about, the free version of the DLC. Five new tracks, 20 new skins, new stadium stampede, party modes, and this is free. Oh, can't play anything with audio. Oh, they'll copyright you out the ass, so. Okay, let's see what we got. So we have Solo, we have Quad Stampede, we have Duo Stampede, we have Duo Deathmatch, and we have Filled Gold Frenzy. So basically, they are trying their best, and this is what I've said months ago when they first introduced Stadium Stampede. It's not what we thought it was going to be, it's more so their version of Fortnite. It's AWX Fortnite, and they're once again doubling, if not tripling down on that. It's their version of Fortnite. So we have Solo, Quad, Duo, Duo Deathmatch, and Phil Go Frenzy. And what I want to also get at is when you say expansion, we don't mean party game mode, you know, we mean an extra layer of the map, you know? Letting you go outside, venture outside of the stadium. That is what we mean by expansion. You know, kind of like Warzone. You're not stuck in one spot. You can go to this area. You can go to that area. You can go to that area. Let it not just specifically be the stadium. You know what I'm saying? But I digress. I mean, we pretty much already know what Stadium Stampede is. You don't got to tell us twice. We got five new music tracks. Twenty new customization skins. And we got this. Fantasy mythical bullshit again. Thank you. Elite Beats and Stadium 
Elite Beats and Stampede Expansion. Download for free today. Okay. And last but not least, this is the shocker right here. Last but not least, AW Games is featuring... <laughs> Bro. AEW Games... Is featuring next makers in their video game. Let me repeat that, WGC. AEW Games is featuring WWE 2K next makers in their video game. This is interesting. You know? This is very interesting. This is interesting. Let's go ahead and look at a couple of screenshots here. A couple of screenshots here. And there you have it. I find this really interesting. I really do. And you could say what you want. Oh, they look like cartoon characters. They don't look like them. They don't look like their real selves. Um, they would be much better. They would look much better if they were featured in 2K. But here's the thing. They're not featured in 2K. They're featured in um, AW Fight Forever. And that's what I find mighty funny, you know. It really gets me thinking. How much does 2K really value their creators? Because I don't know about you, WGC, but this really has me thinking. How much does 2K really value their creators? How much does 2K really value the next makers? How often do you see the next makers being being advertised on the, on the 2K page? How often? How often? Once again, let me repeat that. How often do you see the next makers or any kinds of creators featured on the 2K page? Whether it's YouTube whether it's Twitter, whether it's Instagram, whatever. How often? Outside of when they're featured in a 2K show or when it's time to prom or when it's time to promote the game, when it's in the early marketing stages, when it's not even out yet. I'm talking about when the game is out. How often? How often? When you log into WWE 2K, how often do you see content creators on your homepage, on the homepage of the video game? Or anywhere in the game for that matter outside of community creations. How often? How often? I'm not going to lie, bro. Man, this is... This is really interesting, you know? Because... 2K spent so much time advertising my faction content. When they could be doing things like this. They could be doing things like this and featuring fellow next makers, featuring fellow content creators in the actual video game. I'm just saying. The most they get is probably a book bag, a console, some gifts here and there. They get to play the game early. Maybe get an exclusive trip somewhere, but how often are they actually in the game? Like, how cool would it be to be a content creator and you can get on the game and you can see that you are a playable superstar? Nobody didn't have to create you or anything. Or you did create yourself and 2K featured it in the game and was like, you know what, we're going to take matters upon our own hands and put you on a loading screen or something. Because like I said. This may not be the biggest thing with AW5 Forever. I know a lot has to be done with this game. But they show way more love to their creators than they do 2K. I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real bro. They show way more love to their creators than 2K does.
I'm not talking about the gifts because obviously 2K wins that battle, obviously. I'm talking about when it comes to the actual game and the love they show. What's the status? The most popular creator when it comes to CC. Do you ever see him on a loading screen? Do you ever see him anywhere outside of community creations? Imagine if you could boot up WWE 2K and the, on, a, on a screen it said, check out new creations from what's the status available now. How cool would that be? I'm just saying, bruh. I'm just saying. Tell me, I'm, tell me I'm not telling the truth, WGC. Tell me I'm not telling the truth, WGC. I'm just saying, bruh. It really gets you wondering how much does 2K really care about their creators. I'm just saying. So, yeah. Although this game has a lot of problems, I will say this is pretty cool on their part. This is pretty cool. And I think that this should be a thing going forward. You know, getting the gifts and stuff, that's cool and all, but the thing you want the most, and I may just, I may be alone here, I may be in the minority here, but the thing you want the most, especially as a gamer, you want to be in the damn video game yourself. That's just my personal opinion, okay? Aside from the game being good, aside from the game being great, when you take that next step forward and you move in mountains, you're really doing your thing. You're moving up the ladder, moving up the food chain. I'm just, hey, this is my personal opinion. Being in the video game is a hundred times better than receiving a gift from 2K. That's just my personal opinion. So yeah, although we get no match types in this DLC, this is pretty cool on their part. Like, come on now, but look at this. Custom wrestlers designed by popular influencers have been added to the game as community as community wrestlers. Community wrestlers can be used not only in exhibition but also in road in Road to Elite mini games and other modes. So they're basically saying not only can you download, you know, your favorite content creators wrestler, but you can also play with their with their models anywhere. That's dope. That's dope. Hey, 2K. Take notes. I'm just saying. But with that being said, I mean, hey, outside of the creators being at it, I mean, hey, it's pretty much they're following the same layout when it comes to DLC. You're getting three wrestlers, two arenas, you're getting some music, you're getting some moves, and you're getting some mythical fantasy skins that nobody asks for. The fans have been craving match types, and once again, we're at season four. We've been through four seasons, and there's no match types. So, hey, like I said, I give credit where it's due. You try. You added some fan favorites like Adam Copeland, a.k.a. Edge. You added JY. You added Samoa Joe. You added some fan favorites. Thank you. But at the end of the day, there's still no match types. And also to add on to that, there's still a lot of models that are outdated. If this is a live service game, the least you can do is double back and, up and update some of these models. Give us some more recent attires. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it real. But, yeah, long story short, no match types, so... I think the consensus, I think throughout the community, I think their opinion would be they don't really care. And I don't blame them. And with that being said, we'll see what comes after this. I don't know if there's going to be a season five, a season six, a season seven, a season eight. But in all honesty, 
I'm just ready for them to roll out all of the content and start working, start developing WWE. I said WWE. Holy shit. AW Fight Forever 2. That's what I want personally. You know, this game is pretty much dead and gone. Dead and gone. Dead and gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I've been playing this trash ass game for so long. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyways, with that being said. <sighs> man, oh man, AW Games. <laughs> like I said. Man, <laughs> hey, until you add some more match types, it is what it is. And I, hey, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real, bro. I'm gonna keep it real. Even then, at this stage that we're at right now, even if you add new match types, like let's say season five, you added a steel cage. I think due to the time that everybody had to wait for it. I'm going to keep it real. I think a lot of people will not care. I think you've overstayed your welcome. And that's just my personal opinion. A lot of other people may feel that way too. But with that being said, um, let me know what y'all think in the comments. How do you feel? Are you going to cop? You're going to put up the 20 bucks? You're going to get the DLC? What do you think? You think this is a step forward? You think this is a step backwards? Or you feel like me? You're numb. How you feeling, WGC? Let me know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. But with that being said, we finna go ahead and head up out here. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. And don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell to get notified for each and every Unstation TV upload going forward. With that being said, it's Unstation TV, and we out here. One love. God bless. See you in the next one. Peace. The fuck are you talking about? That shit stinks. A two pack of ass. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? That shit stinks.